Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Endless Runner tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be showing you how you can get your speed of your character to increase over time. So what you will find is in most sort of Endless Runner games, as you progress through the level, your running speed is going to increase to make it a little bit more difficult. And that is exactly what we're going to be replicating in today's video. And the way that we're going to be doing this is when you go over the end of your master tile, we are going to tell it to multiply the current max speed. Now what we're also going to be using is the clamp node to make sure it doesn't go over a certain value to sort of make sure that the game doesn't get too hard so to speak. Um, and all of that is going to be done in blueprints and you're really going to see your game get a little bit more difficult as you implement this feature. So let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So open up your master tile blueprint class. And then what we're going to do inside of here is just before the destroy actor and the delay node, we're going to make some space just like this. And what we're going to do is after this print string, we are going to cast to the third person character. Now, the reason why I'm casting to the character is because inside of there, there is a character movement component. And within that character movement component, you do have a maximum walk speed. And that's what we're going to be using to control the speed of our game. So for your object wildcard here, for your cast of third person character, just drag that out and type in get player character. And then what we're going to do is as third person character, we are going to get the character movement component. So type in get character movement, scroll all the way down to the bottom and get a reference to read the value of the variable character movement. Now what we're going to be doing with this is dragging out from character movement and setting the maximum, set the max walk speed. So what you should have is something a bit like this. So after you've gone over the end of the trigger box for this tile attached to the rest of our code, we are going to set the max walk speed to a new value. And the way we're going to get this value is by getting the existing value of the walk speed. So drag out from character movement and get max walk speed. And then what we're going to do is use the multiply node. So we are looking to do float, uh, float multiplied by float. So if you type in multiply, you should be able to find it at the top here. It's a little one with the little star. And what we're doing is multiplying the current max walk speed by 1.01. .01. And what this is going to do is gradually over time, it is going to increase your maximum walk speed as you go over these tiles. Now, what we do need to do is implement a way to define the maximum walk speed you want because you don't want it to endlessly get faster and faster and faster because it is going to get impossible. And that is where the float clamp comes in. So if you type in clamp, you should be able to use the clamp float node. And what this is going to do is allow you to determine a minimum and a maximum value and then just hook up your return value into your set max walk speed. Now the default speed for the max walk speed is 600. That is going to be your minimum. Now if you want your maximum speed to be twice the default speed, then you would set it to 1200 instead. Or if you want it to be three times, then it would be 1800. Um, but realistically, you're just going to be playtesting your game to determine that maximum value. But what you do need to know is that your um, minimum value is going to be 600. And that is going to be sort of how you're going to be gauging the speed at which you should be going. If we compile this now and then press play, as we go over a little bit in time, you are going to notice that our character is going to start getting faster and faster and faster. Now, the way that I've set this up being multiplied by 1.01, .01, it is going to be quite a, a gradual increase. So it's going to take its time. So it might be sort of two minutes before you notice a difference. Um, but you guys, you will figure that out. So you can see here, it is now getting faster 
and it is getting faster and you're moving across the lanes the way that you want it to. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. We've still got loads more to do to add obstacles and stuff, but we have our main functionality in the game for moving between the lines, increasing over time, we're scoring points and all of that good stuff. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.